all of it. John? Harris, uh, good afternoon to you. This this changes the whole direction of the story just a bit here because up until now this has all been uh, all been about a laptop and a hard drive and, and a computer repair person in Wilmington, Delaware, and Rudy Giuliani. Now this information comes, and it's the first time we have heard from him. Tony Bobolinsky lives out in the West Coast. He is a former Navy lieutenant. He was also the CEO of a company uh, in which Hunter Biden and Jim Biden, Joe Biden's brother, were all. Also involved and, and one of the main things that that he has been talking about here is something that was actually reported to be on Hunter Biden's laptop and that is an email in which the breakdown of a business deal the percentage distributions from a business deal with a Chinese energy company would be doled out including 10% for quote the big guy and everybody who's wondered who is the big guy we had some information that the big guy is Joe Biden and now Tony Bobolinsky in a statement to Fox News saying the following quote the reference to the big guy in the much publicized May 13 27 email is in fact a reference to Joe Biden Bobolinsky goes on to say Hunter Biden called his dad the big guy or my chairman and frequently referenced asking him for his sign off or advice on various potential deals that we were discussing I've seen Vice President Biden saying he never talked to Hunter about his business I've seen firsthand and that that's not true because it wasn't just Hunter's business and they said they were putting the Biden family name and its legacy on the line. There were, had been allegations that Hunter Biden was involved in all of these business deals in China, in Russia and Ukraine, having no experience really in business and no experience particularly in the energy sector. So what was Hunter Biden allegedly really selling here? Well, in his statement, Tony Bobolinsky uh, casts a little bit of illumination on that, saying, quote, I realized the Chinese were not really focused on a healthy financial ROI, return on investment. They were looking at this as a political or influence investment. Once I realized that Hunter wanted to use the company as his personal piggy bank by just taking money out of it, as soon as it came in from the Chinese, I took steps to prevent that from happening. So Tony Bobolinsky, uh, who has up until now really held fire on all of this, now coming forward to say this is what was really going on. And this is not just during 2017, I am told, that this is two years leading up to what happened in 2017. So no doubt we're going to hear a lot more about this at the debate tonight, even if it is not brought up as a question. Yeah. The president, I'm told, is going to go there, Harris, so be watching for that.